Hey everyone, welcome to the Gallivanting Soul. So today I am at another resort and yes, another place which I've been before, not once but twice. But this was way back, somewhere in 2015 and 2016. Now the reason I come back to such places and especially to show you guys is because I have loved something about this place. And I guess I'm more comfortable going to uh, a place which I've been before, which I can then recommend to y'all. But going to a completely new place, I mean, obviously, it's a discovery for me as well. So, yeah, today I'm going to take you on a tour of this lovely resort, which is literally in the middle of nowhere. And yeah, so there's no connection here. The network is very poor. But trust me, you'll find a better connection with nature. I mean, can you hear that? It's like there's so many birds. So yeah, I'm going to take you on a tour of this lovely resort, but um, unfortunately this time I can't stay overnight. I would have loved to because they have an amazing night campfire and they also do a night safari, which I've done on earlier trips. And yes, it's a little warm because it's an October day and they have a lot of activities around here. But being a weekday, this place is pretty quiet. There are just a couple of families currently here. But weekends are a little more busier. So I've come on a weekday so I can give you a proper tour of the place. So come on, let's go and um, let's quickly explore what the resort is like. This is a luxury mountain view room. This is a beautiful cottage, very spacious. Let's have a look at Well, we have some nice chikus here on the trees. I love all these messages on the boards right throughout the entrance. And here are some more rooms. They also have a rain dance here, so if you come in a group, this is something you can really enjoy. This pathway leads up to the restaurant and the second pool. This is the pool facing, uh, it's called the Pool View Superior Cottage. Um, all the rooms have a sofa come bed. And this again is quite spacious. The windows here face this is your pool facing room so this is a dormitory which can comfortably accommodate 10 people I have stayed in this dormitory when I came with my family. Two washrooms identical. This is a nice uh, spacious dormitory and it's fun when you're in a big group. I personally always like the dormitory when I go with my family. And these are the deluxe cottages. So the second time around I stayed in the room just here. These are the views. This is the children's play area. And here is where they have campfire in the nights on weekends. This is the dining area. Well, besides the overnight stays, uh, the resort also does day picnics. 
so which is a package and you get breakfast um, lunch and uh, high tea in the evening and uh, besides of course the overnight stay and the place to come here there are two different routes and uh, the uh, the one which i came through which uh, i've used just once it's through the forest and uh, because the thane side route was showing much longer um, which is on the bombay nasik route so hence i came from this side in the morning but evening i'm going to go back from the other route because i'm going to wait for the sunset trek and uh, of course i won't be wait till sunset because it gets dark early these days but uh, yeah the reason uh, because the main highway is just about uh, 25 kilometers from here whereas if i have to go through the forest it's a good 60 kilometers and i don't want to drive in the dark through the forest so if you want to enjoy a nice drive in the morning you can come from that side but going back you can go from the other route well now that i've given you a complete tour of all the rooms it is time for me to go and cool off because it is pretty warm i mean it's october mid october so during the day it is uh, warm during the daytime but uh, evenings are very pleasant here so time for me to go and cool off catch you guys in a bit that was a nice and refreshing swim i mean even at 3:30 in the afternoon the water was cold and it was so quiet i mean i just had birds for company i mean it was so lovely to enjoy a swim after almost 2 years well now it is close to 4 o'clock and i better quickly shower and get ready and go for my trek <laughs> goes up there further <laughs> out of breath because it's a steep climb look at this and that's one guide and there's one more guiding me let's go on further i did this trek just once excuse me if i'm out of breath but let me just turn it around and show you how steep it is got some thorns that are clung on to my clothes so i've reached almost at the top the final point is actually back there 
but uh, I'm running out of time and I would love to go but the sun is already setting so look at this I mean the views are so beautiful here this is completely raw nature just loads of grass which can make you feel a little itchy afterwards but so if you're here definitely try and do the trek these guys from the hotel will uh, they're familiar with the way and they bring you here and time to start walking down feeling a little itchy very slight <laughs> but it's it's okay it's still worth the experience the last time when we came here not everybody in the family was up for the trek but i definitely did and if you're someone who likes to do trekking then this is definitely recommended it's a very small trek it barely takes you like 15 20 minutes and it's so easy to do besides a few sections being a little too steep otherwise it's absolutely fine let's go down now Well, that's it from me. My short visit to Wild Camp Resort has now come to an end and it's time for me to hit the road and head back home. Um, well, it's been a nice day, honestly. Uh, very peaceful, that's what I actually came for. And uh, if you want to um, really enjoy this place, I would recommend you come here. The best time, the months to come is from October to Jan. That's the best time to come here. And now the climate will start getting cooler, especially in the evenings. And uh, Yes, of course, if you come with a group, you are going to have a blast. I mean, both my earlier trips, I came in a group and I had so much of fun. I mean, we were huge groups, like 12, 15 people. But uh, yeah, this time it was just two of us. So uh, a little more quieter. I enjoyed the peace. I enjoyed just doing what I love doing. And of course, showing you the place, which was the whole purpose of coming here. And enjoy the outdoors. The trek was my favorite part of the day today. And of course, the swim too. Yeah. Anyway, this is the Gallivanting Soul signing off. I will see you next time in another place. Take care. Bye bye.